Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. So for today, I wanted to record how I personally remove my baby's cradle cap. Um, so just a disclaimer, by no means is this a medical diagnosis or medical treatment for cradle cap. Please just know this is for entertainment purposes only, not educating anybody on anything. I'm just sharing my personal experience and how I dealt with my baby's cradle cap. So for me, I, I really consider it being like costra. Like it's really just dirt, honestly. Um, so I just dealt with it as such. Show you the tools that I used on the next few clips the process of how I took care of that for starters I don't know where I left the oil that I originally used on the video which is coconut oil in that little bottle you can find it at the dollar store and even at Walmart I bought it at the dollar store uh, and now I don't know where it's at but I use it for everything um, but for substitution I would also use this one okay so this is an almond oil I actually bought this off of Amazon and it's 100% pure moisturizing oil. I use it for my hair. Uh, I use it, uh, I actually pour some of this inside my lotion. It's very moisturizing. So I would definitely use any oil. I use this little pink one. It's a baby brush or baby comb. Uh, but I also suggest on the clip lice comb, which is something like this because as you can see, the teeth are very, very close together. So this would help out a lot when removing cradle cap um and then for the main part is actually bobbing pins i know it sounds crazy but once you see the video you'll see what i did with the bobbing pins and this is the ones that i use it's con air and they have like a like a soft coating on them and it says it on here bobbing pins uh soft touch three sizes this was actually the tool that i used to remove the baby's cradle cap and last but not least if you have one of these, which is a magnifying glass, I know it sounds silly, but this would help because you can really take a closer look of what you're working with and what you're doing. Enjoy the video. It's kind of like one of those videos because I didn't even do this on purpose, but the camera was so close to her hair that you could actually um, see me removing it. And it's one of those like satisfying type of video clips so uh enjoy it and uh just know my baby was sleeping throughout this entire time she did not get hurt and the cradle cap lasted a good three months by the end of the third month it went off like it was off completely but i used these steps to actually get rid of it you know on my own rather than just waiting around for it to be you know fall on its own i had to just scrub a little you know harder than i was doing when i was first bathing her i was being very gentle but then you know i learned that you're not hurting the baby if you scrub her hair and her head you're actually doing her a favor and you're scrubbing that costrita the dirt off of her so no worries for the babies so this is the cradle cap before i add in the oil you can see the dryness see if I can get that to focus there it goes and then this is obviously the look after all the oil and I've taken some of it out you can see a lot of it is out actually this whole area was just like this very dried and like an entire layer of of the cradle cap you see all that so let me add the oil so you guys can see it in action. You can use any oil. I'm currently using a coconut oil, but I normally use my almond virgin oil and that works just as good. And it's just a personal preference. This one, I don't even have to push, push it out. It comes out. Mm. So... I literally just do this, like I'm scraping it, but very gently. And it starts coming. 
coming off of her scalp. I'm obviously doing it very gentle and it doesn't bother her. So after I remove some of it, then I go ahead and take the comb and grab whatever has came out and you can see that in the comb now. This was just a very small area, so not a lot of it came out. I was able to get some more out from the same area, but I can't do it with one hand that well. So once I put the phone down, I was able to take some more out, as you can see. Look at that. All of that little crust. And I'm collecting it in this rag right here. You can see it's so much coming off. Hmm. So since I removed a good portion of the affected area, I just comb through it. And you can see all the little crust on the hair. And, and it, it still comes out on the comb. You see that? So you could just keep combing the baby's hair and it's going to come out. Anything that was removed, you can see all the little ones that are off of the scalp. And after a shower, it should fall off or you can just comb it through. You see how the comb will probably be best a, 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 a small comb that has the teeth on it very very tight will be the best one kind of like the ones that they use for lice that would be a really good one as long as it's not pulling the baby's hair oh, ch always check with your doctors if it is cradle cap or it could be another skin condition or whatnot so always want to make sure with the doctors I did take my baby for a checkup they did confirm that it was cradle cap and I kind of just took it all you know Took the next steps on my own to remove it and she's totally fine she's doing great and she's got some wild hair going on you guys but Layla Bell is five months she just made five months like two days ago and no more cradle cap no more at all you never told me that she's five months already and then i got a haircut and Pixie got a haircut. We're just talking hair today. Actually, this is uh, an extension ponytail from Amazon. And I actually got a trim today as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Make sure you subscribe.